Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Bussin' Spring Tour. This is a very, very special opportunity for two reasons. One, to tell you about the great Chevy Silverado, how amazing it is, how affordable, beautiful, rugged, tough, and def dependable. That nine to five are working back and forth, doing your thing on a daily basis. You know you're gonna get from point A to point B without an issue and looking great. The Chevy Silverado, truly something to really love and believe in. Another reason why I'm so excited, I don't know. I don't know why you I'm, keep well, touching I'm me. You I know that. Another reason. Another reason why I'm, another reason why I'm so excited. It's He's like, like the Chevy Silverado, dependable, durable. Everything yeah, you need yeah, in a truck. I'm sorry, I think you jump in with something. Yeah. But here we are. Am I you, right? You get going. You got that silver tongue. You just flow, and I'm like, I don't want yeah, to interrupt it's you because you're beautiful, you, dude. Oh. There's a lot of things. This tongue. Oh, no, I know. Like that. That's Relax. What she said, huh? <laughs> I got Denard Robinson, who maybe maybe the most versatile, best uh, dual threat quarterback of all time. In NCAA history, oh, and Christ. NCAA history came in same draft class as me. And Chris Bryant, not only was a great football player here, now works at the university. I recruited my man here, mm -hmm. and he's been slaying it for the blue ever since. Let's give a round of applause for the boys. <laughs> I'm already sweating. Hey, go, go. I want to take a backpedal for a second. Because we were you, talking before. Right, right. Oh, the, no, no. What you were saying, how you were introducing them. Would you agree with that? Uh, Where do you think you rank in top in top most dual threat quarterbacks of all time? Jesus Christ. I, I don't know. I, I, I never thought about that. Really. Who, comes to, like, who comes to mind that's Mike with Vick? you in that case? Yeah, Mike, Mike Vick. That's what I was going to say. Mike Vick, Lamar. Oh, that's Lamar. Your Lamar Jackson. Lamar. You got to say Lamar Jackson. Uh, uh, shoot, you got to think about it. Damn, it's it, it been some guys, though. You got you to think about it. Like, I watched Michael Vick growing up. Like, that was my dude, watching him, you know, do his thing at Virginia Tech, watch him do it at Atlanta. Like, I was like, I'm going to be like, I'm, I tried to throw the ball left-handed for a second. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, so, right, right, right. Like, Vick, Vick was our guy. Like, Vick was my guy. So, watching mm -hmm. him, I was like, that's who I wanted to be like. So. I think the thing with Denard, most of it, like, you got to see him in practice. You know, <laughs> Bro, he did the dumbest shit at practice. <laughs> it was practice. He made man, guys look really so stupid. <laughs> what do you and mean? Then, like, First off, the man doesn't tie his shoelaces. <laughs> Does not tie his shoe. So he'd go out to practice before they made him like some custom ones. His shoelaces would be flopping on the side. <laughs> and you're like, bro, you're gonna slip over. He's like, oh, I'll be all right. And he was from Deerfield Beach, Florida. Yeah. My man can enunciate now, but when you first met him, you're like, <laughs> him, and the, him and the Pahokee Florida, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yes, yes, you and yes. the Pahokee Florida kids were talking, and I'm listening, they're like, oh, this is a different language I gotta learn. <laughs> they said I could there was a run-on sentence the whole damn time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This they hated dude, me in the huddle. Bro, he could not <laughs> say a word. Anyway, so did this this dude would, uh, like, the first couple of days of practice, because Tate Forcier came in with you, yep, yep. and then Tate, he was, like, one of the early enrollee guys. Mm -hmm. And so everybody was all pumping Tate's tires uh, like that. Uh, oh, oh that crazy. <laughs> I went to Tate's house. Bro, he had a big weed pipe in the corner, like, bongs and stuff. He's like, we get down here. I'm like, this shit's kind of dope. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tate's house is always the place, the, place, Tate, the place to go to. You had to go to Tate's oh, house. Oh, 100%. Tate, Tate had everything going. But, but you know we get out to camp. And like I'm 250, I'm I'm redshirting, you know. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like yeah, where's the? Like, I got a party. Let's have some fun. Like, yeah. Let's do this. The Nard is fucking breaking dudes' ankles left and right. <laughs> would just run, and he would be like, DBs would be chasing him, and he'd just be like him pulling away by yards, bro. Right, right. Killing dude, stopping on a dime. Monster. Shoes not falling off at all. <laughs> and Adidas shoes of all, of yeah. all shoes. And that's, a brand. That's, be, that's a solid brand, but that's before they actually like kicked up their right, heads. Right, they got right. a lot yes, better. I agree uh, with that. Back then, the Adidas was just like getting in the football market. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. this dude was fucking killing dudes, dude. <laughs> Absolutely killing him. You, you remember? Oh, yeah. He was yeah. murdering the game. Were you guys dude. all the same class? No, no. Just me and Denard. I was stuck a year. Okay, no. yeah. I hosted Grizzly Bear. Because you got an interesting story the first time you met Taylor, right? Oh, yeah. They wanted Taylor. The day one of Taylor, I saw loving him. I was like, this dude, my dude. Like, this going to be my dude. So the first time, we, the first, we was, it was in the dorm room, right? <laughs> and what was that, what was that you place? A jerk. You a jerk. You yeah, first came yeah. out. You a jerk. I know. You a jerk. I know. Oh, you hit the jerk? Let's go. I took a good 20, 30 minutes to learn how to do it. I YouTube out. All the dudes are doing it. Like, I got to do it for the fellas. You're the one white guy in the locker room. Oh, this fucking kid gets it, He's doing his thing. So, so, Here's the story. So the first night I meet him, we learn we learn how to do the jerk. Taylor learns it. He's like, I got it. We go to a party, right? Tell him what the party was at, though. It was at, what was it at? It was an all black fraternity. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, an all black. We walk in. It was like 
Everyone's like, what's up, man? Oh, what's up? How you doing? Man? <laughs> <laughs> they kind of look over. It's like a movie with you. It's like a, like, a, like, a, like, a, like a bad comedy. Dudes are looking back like, who the fuck is this cracker? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that. And I kind of walk in, hey, fellas, how we doing? Like, he's excited to be a part yeah. of the crew. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't, the, he, he fit in. You could tell he, he, he was one of the boys. Like, we got in. And when so like swag sir came on. Yeah. He did that swag. Why I was in my bag. That was so much fun. So, <laughs> so we started doing that. Oh my god. We did that, and then like we went to another frat party. We went to another frat party. This one, it was it was a big frat party. I don't yeah. know who, who frat. It was party like was. one of the big ones over by the yes. big rock. So we go we go there. Taylor take the ox. Like I just learned how to do the jerk. I'm gonna take that. We are gonna put the ox on her. Yeah, we he took over the whole frat. He took over the whole 17 frat. 17 years old. <laughs> he, took, he started drinking on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put on Blink-182? No, I started doing the jerk. He started doing the jerk. You're a jerk, I know. You're, You're a, a jerk, jerk. I know. Uh-huh. Imagine, what, what, 6'7"? Yeah. 6'7", he's on somebody's table doing the, uh, the jerk. Fucking ripping it, dude. They were all about it. Oh, all oh about yeah, it. and like, I never really danced like that before, so I was like, man, I'm fucking killing I could have been dying. I could have been like not doing <laughs> right. well at all. It could just be hype, like, at least he's yeah. doing it. I'm from Cave Creek, Arizona, dude. All, that, all of a sudden, like, people think I can dance like girls start coming up, start doing the yeah, the, app, <laughs> the, the piece to piece move. I'm like, ah, I'm on, uncom- like, now I'm against the wall, like having a seizure. Like, what's gonna happen? Well, next? Be honest, bro. There's no better feeling. What are you get, talking about, bro? Than getting accepted by the brothers on the team. There's no better feeling than like that. Is so funny. funny. That's, that's, that's so the true. Part about it. It's like Taylor fit in like this, right? He had a teammate that came in, Craig Rowe. Oh, poor Craig, dude. <laughs> Craig was like a super religious cat, like went to bed on time, yes. 4.0 student. Yes. And we were roommates. Oh, we my God. In high school. So imagine imagine him and Tay, like they two opposite, like really complete opposite. And I mean, so he got, he fit in right, right away. What's your name? Craig, Craig is going to bed early. I'm like, I know Taylor's killing this dude. I know mm. Taylor. This, I, he hated you, huh? He did. I, I've told this story before, but, like, there was a point where, like, he had his Bible and he, like, pray for people. And it'd be like, <laughs> Grandma, you know, has this going on. Dad uh, broke his ankle or something like that. Oh, Jesus Christ. And at the end, it would just say, Taylor. Like, no explanation. <laughs> just the fact that I needed Jesus. Hey, shout out Craig Rowe. Yeah, Craig Rowe. Shout out Craig Rowe. Shout out Craig Rowe. Craig Rowe. Shout out Craig Rowe. Shout out Craig Rowe. I mean, yeah. look what he had now. All your friends worked. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. Your friends worked. Got it up, baby. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Oh, man. Can we get a, before we continue, can we get a moment of silence for Craig Rowe? Thank you. All right. Appreciate the boy. <laughs> Appreciate that boy, man. That oh, was a big man. deal. One thing, dude, and so, like, when we were planning stuff like that, you never want to ask questions because, like, we're all just the boys. I don't want to ask stuff that's, like, going on with you. Right. But when we first got there and they were playing Tate first, first game mm-hmm. was Western Michigan. Right. And they had Tate starting and all that. Like, right. what was, like, because you guys were in a quarterback battle in the mm-hmm. beginning. Mm-hmm. What was, like, were you like, hey, I'm way better than this guy? Like, what are we doing? Uh, I, I knew I was way better than him as in, like, ability-wise. But he knew the he knew the offense. Yeah. So like that 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 time that he came in for spring, he learned the offense. So yeah. he, he kind of knew how to get on the board and draw it up and do all the everything, you know, do new defense. I didn't know defense. I came from Denver Beach, Florida. Yeah. We like we just going out on the beach beating you in football. That's yeah. it. So, yeah, yeah. so I started learning it. When I got here, I started learning it. And I knew I, I had more ability than him throwing the ball, running the ball, whatever. But I knew he knew the plays. So like coach gonna go with the guy that knew the plays. Yeah. I didn't know the plays. I was out there just being raw. Yeah. So shit, my first play, I dropped the snap. I forgot to play. Bro, <laughs> his first play, they come out. Like, we got to pull this clip up, too, when we put this out there. It's Western Michigan. He's, he's jogging out there. Who dude. Are you the guys biggest playing? fuck Western Michigan. Western Michigan. Donkey. Uh, he's jogging out there. I'm sitting there, dude, a rail, 250. Like, just watch. Hey, let's go, guys. Let's fucking do it. We're, we're all winning. And uh, Denard comes out because Tate's been starting. It's first play. They're like showing, they doesn't tie his shoes, which I didn't believe you knew how to tie your shoes. <laughs> I, thought, I really thought you didn't know how to tie your shoes. And he comes out, takes takes a snap, and I think it was like Tay Odom's coming across, right? Mm-hmm. He's supposed to be getting a reverse. Yep. Yeah, so he reverse. <laughs> he drops the ball. Like, Denard, look at this, man, this man's hands. <laughs> yeah, he's got some big he fucking some, hands. He got some meaty sticks on him, dude. <laughs> he drops the ball and picks it up and then runs 45 yards for a touchdown. First play ever at Michigan. Yeah. <laughs> It was unbelievable. Everybody's dude. just going electric, and the oh, coaches electric, are probably like, "This dude. motherfucker ain't even know what to play." And, and, with. The, coach, and the coach, Coach Rod, was like, "You didn't know to play, did you?" I was like, yeah, "I forgot it." Because like this, this literally what happened. Like the first play, that actually we got outside penalty because I, I, I like I got up there, I'm, like, I'm nervous. It's the big house, so like I get up, and I'm like, "Down, said hut." 
The left tackle don't gonna hurt me. Mm-hmm. He jumps off sides. So I got that's five yards back. So I'm like, I can't mess this up. Fuck, I can't you mess this up. Were you left tackle? No, no. Oh, it was uh, it's Perry, right? No, he was playing right tackle. Who was something Orr? Orr, that's what it was. Yeah, uh, not Michael Orr. Um, I don't know, Jordan Orr, white dude. Grinder. Okay, yeah, great grinder. guy. Lunch bell grinder. guy. Lunch bell guy. So then, so then like, he jumps outside. So then I'm like, all right, cool. The next play, I'm like, I got to sit loud as hell. So I said loud as hell. And I forget the whole play. I was like, sit up. Ball come to me. I'm like, fuck. Oh, shit. Got the ball, picked the ball up. I was like, I don't know if it's supposed to go right. I'm going right. I'm going right. <laughs> And from then on, we were all like, oh, this dude's just that guy. <laughs> By the Michigan State game, you were starting, right? No, I didn't start freshman year at what? all. I didn't start at all freshman year. I not had one a lot game. of drinking, a lot of drinking freshman year. Not, I, was, not I, was, one. I was seeing the dark <laughs> twice out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you probably didn't even really watch the games. So I, 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 no, I was out there being a fan. <laughs> Did you guys have to travel to away games? No, we no, didn't travel to no, away games. No, so he, he he had a good Friday. Fridays, I know y'all hated Fridays. Yeah, we had killed in the weight room, but then after that... <laughs> Let's go. It's on. Oh, it's on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. It was the no. best, bro. We had a fucking blast doing that. Bars used to probably kill y'all in the weight room, huh? Yeah, Bar was just killing us all the time, but you know that. Yeah, oh, my gosh. We used to run more than anybody ever. The first workout. Tell us about the first workout. <laughs> all right. <laughs> You're the guest, but I'll tell you. So the first the first workout we get there, um, we do, like, hypertrophy workout, three sets of 12. We do the whole barbell complex. We do three sets of 12 squats. We're fucking dead. Dead. Then we do uh, plyometrics till, like, till we're, like, our legs are gone. Mm. I'm, like, cr- my legs are, like, cramping. I'm stuck in a little ball. And he's, like, he walks over to me and borrows this glass eater, like, mouth. Like, yeah. the way he talks. <laughs> And he goes, hey, welcome to Michigan. How do you like my dick in your mouth? And then walks away from me. And I'm like, oh, How my God, do you God, like I my fucked dick up in coming here. Yes, I yes. fucked up bad yes, coming here, dude. Yes. It was, dude. And then we walk in. It's like, time to go run. And then we go do a double fifth, which is two times we're on the field. And then we do two single fifths. Mm-hmm. Then we run like eight one tens. Yes. Then we run eight forties, a couple one twenties, and then uh, three hundreds. To finish, but it's that all was time. one run. Yes. That is fucking Mondays, brutal. Mondays and Fridays. It's not you even good. It's not had, good for you. Oh no! But <laughs> hey, you're in college. We were in the, I was in the best shape I ever been in my life. No, he was running track and field too in the off season. Yeah, I ran track too. Yeah, so I did that. Did that on top of, it, and then I went to go to track. I went to do sixties and hundreds and two hundreds. So I literally came from that workout to that workout. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we all go to check and feel. Meets be like, loud as shit for Denard. He, they, they, he's always right. smiling and shit. Come, they used to come to him. Get him we used to just go and watch him. Like, yeah, I'll fucking go, Denard. <laughs> yeah, awesome. yeah, dude, it was it's like a high school vibe. Oh, for real. Oh, yeah. We had yeah. high school vibes. Our, our oh, 09 class was like tight like that. We was really tight. Like, yeah. yeah Super real. tight class, So what dude. happened to y'all? We I'm fucking... No, I was like, so I still watch the bus. You know what I'm saying? Brandon just started a podcast, too. So he started one. Brandon who? Gibbons. Oh, no shit. Yeah. I haven't talked to Gibbons in like five, six years. Really? What podcast is he doing? Uh, I don't know yet. He, he asked me to get on there. So I talked yeah. to him. I, I, I still talk to everybody. You know, yeah. everybody can still come back and talk, text me. Uh, Roy, it, since I got the job, so a lot of people start, start texting yeah. me. You know, they played with us. So they all talking about coming back. Jeremy Gallows is a part of our class. Is yeah. Hawthorne in there? Hawthorne's in our class. Hawthorne's in our class. I dislocated my hel- elbow because of him. <laughs> <laughs> what you think he's doing now, Taylor? Oh, Hawthorne? Yes. He's a Florida kid, right? Yes. Yeah. He's back in Florida. Yes. What, what, what is he what doing? doing? Uh, uh, oh, this is a good question right here. I don't know. I feel like this is like a trick. It is a trick. Oh, shit. <laughs> Who is this? Brandon, Brandon Hawthorne. Hawthorne. He's, a linebacker. He's another one that spoke a different language when yes. we first got here. <laughs> the craziest okay. player on the team. Yeah, yeah, saying, wow. what, what, they're asking What's you he what, doing what is he doing I'm going to go with safe answer. So he's selling insurance. <laughs> He's a police officer now. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not, dude. He's a police officer in Orlando, Florida right now, man. That is crazy. Yes. He's like, nice. everybody get away with everything. No, he's actually Orlando. not. He told me he was 26 for 27 out of chase downs. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> kids? Yes. No he shit. I can't wait to do shit like that. He showed me a highlight of him catching a kid. With a cam? <laughs> Ripping after him was like a. Uh, bro, he told me he gave the kid. He was going. He, he was, told me he gave he him was a linebacker mode. Did he mode. tackle him? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, he smoked oh, that. Yeah. Hey, future job. When the, when the NFL's future over. Future job. When the NFL's over, you hawk some kids down for sure. He yeah, said he gives him, a, yeah. gives him a nice little head start to make it fun for him. Yeah. Oh, no shit. He's fast as hell. Yeah, oh, he, he's funny legit. He's shit. legit like 4-5. Four, 4-4. Five, four, four. Yeah. Like legit. I want to hear stories, your guys' perspective about the boy. Oh man, 
Go ahead, Chris. I, I recruited you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got, you got to yeah, I want to I hear some stories. Uh, here we go. Man. Nothing's off limits here. I don't I don't really remember my official visit. That's that's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's always a good thing. That's yeah, always a good thing. Right I don't really remember my official visit, but I know I know it was good enough for me to commit here. I know uh Taylor, when I came here, I felt, the only thing I remember is being in the back of a pickup truck. Yeah. Ooh. I don't remember who had a pickup truck, who but I remember like me truck? and Jack Miller was in the back of a pickup truck. Oh, I don't even remember that. <laughs> who dude? Pick up Jack truck? Miller. You I didn't truck? have a pickup truck. I had that Cadillac DeVille with the steer oh, horns I on lo- it. I loved it. Somebody yeah. had a pickup truck. Me what and Jack Miller was in the back. That two seater bike? Oh, man. I, love <laughs> that. I had a two seater bike. I would ride the class in by myself. Oh, of course, my you God. Did. Asked if anybody wanted to ride down the hill. <laughs> it was a fucking blast. Dude. It was, uh, yeah, man. Taylor in the summer turned into a different guy. Bro. Yeah, tank him and his right hand man. Uh, look at it. There you go. <laughs> the hands. Yes. You got to get that tattoo. The right, right hand man. man. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got to recruiting. Chris. Recruiting. Uh, uh, they really wanted you. Yeah. Like you were like the pride of Illinois. Yeah. When you were coming out, they're like, "Hey, you got to get this kid." So I was like, "All right." And I remember. Well, it's basically the same thing for every recruit. Like, take them out, get them hammered. Which everyone, <laughs> everyone's probably thinking, "Oh, he's 17 years old, Taylor. What are you gonna do? Just grow the fuck up." If you're watching this, and you're upset. Yes. Like, yes. So get him, get him hammered. Go out, take him out, and just. Let them enjoy their life. That's really it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I had a tight end one time that I uh, took a nine iron and I gave it to him at the red house and I was like, go and hit the walls. So we like took out a wall one night at <laughs> like two AM. Ran through a wall. wall? Ran through a wall, took the a nine iron, just started beating the wall in. So like, we're good. Committed but, that next day. I was just asking, did he commit? He committed the next day. I forget his name. Tight end though, white kid. It was awesome. Uh, that's, that's hilarious. We're out here getting kids, Get him hammered, put him on some chicks. Yeah, oh, 100%. Oh, yeah, that was it. That's really so all you me. had to do. That's the game of recruiting, right? That's it. That's all, that all, that's all it was. Yeah. Did, um, you, did you miss on any recruits? I guess there up houses. One. Uh, I think it was Jeff Fisher. Oh, the who, kid that went to Oregon? He went to Oregon. Yeah. Then he went to Cincinnati and became a tight end. But I was, I was batting 1,000. I had everybody. Everybody I hosted committed. Yeah. yeah. I was and it was cool awesome, too, because you would get, like, when you commit, when you, uh, Hosted guys, you get you get fed mm-hmm. at the nice food too. Yes, yes, yes. And you get a couple chips. Money. You get some per diem, per diem money. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I was like living like a king. Two hundred dollars? You fucking kidding yeah. me? Yeah. Hey, how much would you give the recruit though? What? I didn't give nothing. If you no, didn't, no, I know. You didn't see a dollar. No, if, if you didn't ask for it, you're not giving it to him. Yeah, right, right, right. right, right, right. Get somebody, like, but Taylor still won't give you that. No, you're talking about Taylor ain't giving nothing. I do get a little selfish with that paper. <laughs> you give me money to get back on the tight. <laughs> <laughs> he said he was not giving you a million dollars. No, you were telling me about that. Contract ain't giving me a million. Well, I, I, yeah, you know when you're in elementary school growing up, hey, well, I hit the lottery, I'll give you a million. Yeah. Yeah. We finally got that situation in real time. He's like, nah, fuck. Bro, that. I didn't buy a ticket from a gas station. I play football. I'm out here grinding. Doesn't matter. I mean, bro. 80, 80 sounds way better than 79. Way better. <laughs> you're like 82, though. You're like 82, 83. Nah. <laughs> 83 sounds way better than 82. <laughs> <laughs> well, how, did that, how did that make you feel? Oh, damn. I, I wasn't surprised. No. Like, I knew what happened. Like, I knew. I know this guy. He's selfish. <laughs> it is what it is. That's wild, dude. Right in front of my friends? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're going to soil me like that, dude? Oh, man. But no, when no. we played here, Taylor used to give out money all the time in the there spring. Is. Spring yeah. and the summertime. Yeah. Poop, poop. You talking about when Taylor would come back? No, no, no. no, no, we no, was, no. When, when Taylor was in trouble, even... I ain't giving kids money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he, he working for Nebraska, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying like when he was in the league, he'd come back. No, no, no. no. This was before he even had the 83. Before he even had the rookie contract, Taylor was sitting on his porch and drop money Just off a little bit. With, the, you... with his little two seater bike and handing yeah. out five dollar bills. Yeah, yeah, tell you what, this, yeah. this is a good lead lead to it. Yeah, we used to get into get into some he's uh, leading right into what he wanted to lead you to. To some nice summer workouts or whatever in the summertime and uh, I'm gonna let Denar finish this <laughs> one but <laughs> But hey, I think I, I, I'm I just, nervous. I this feel one. like Taylor used to just like it was a lot of things like Taylor would just tell you like, "Come on, we about to go do something." You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You don't really know what you're getting into. You know 100%. it's probably not safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably not good. But <laughs> you with Taylor, so you like, "Fuck it, we ain't getting too much trouble." Everybody loves Taylor around here. Yes. Another story just came in my Remember you had a fucking pig? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Hamlet the Third. Yeah. yeah. Doctor what? <laughs> Doctor Hamlet the Third. Bro, we had a, a whole long lineage of uh, doctoral <laughs> pigs, dude. Bro, we had a whole team meeting because the the animal patrol people came. And took the pig yeah. from Taylor. But anyway, that's a whole nother I story. didn't even know about that. That's crazy. Yeah. But so, like, yeah. so Taylor used to stay, bro, right behind us. It's a red house. Yeah, red like, house. Right red house. house. Red house, bro. Legendary, house, bro. Dude. I tell recruits to this day, that's where Taylor Lewan stayed, bro. Mm-hmm. So that's hilarious. We used to have this game after workouts in the summertime. You got a lot of free time or whatever where Taylor would uh, 
round up all his uh, before NIL, NIL money that Taylor was still getting. What are you talking about, bro? Oh, you get some money, huh? Bro, I never got paid a dollar. I never got paid a dollar. It's all good, bro. I wish we got paid a dollar. I wish we got paid. No doubt. If someone would have gave me money, I would have took it. Free food. That's all you got. Bro, no, I bet he did get some money. Free food. Free food. I like to think the dog got money. He was living a little different. Like, say no way. You you were different, bro. I wish. I I tell people all the time I didn't get paid. Hold on. You ain't get paid for being on the front of NCAA? Yeah, but that's after college. That That was after that was after everything but like when I was here playing I got not one one dollar you never signed a bunch of autographs for, for a few thousand dollars that was after after I got them playing never never did it before like that no. alright well that's enough we're trying to yeah 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 I, I never, 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 never got the story I never got paid. he's reeling in money yeah, so Taylor's got, I don't know where Taylor get all this money coming in mm. from, but. Bro, he hey, right, 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 right. tell the story. Respect, man, uh, he's leading right, you to, right, right. 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 to a great story right, right now, Taylor. Right, just right, take right, the right, ride. Right, just right, take right, the ride. Right, just take right, the ride. Right, 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 right now, ladies. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Taylor round up some of the guys. We'd be sitting on the front porch or whatever. So I'm just chilling. I don't know what's going on. I'm from inner city Chicago. I never played this game. They were this giveaway money game that we got to play. So, so. So Taylor going to the house or whatever, you know, we all just sitting out there or whatever. Taylor disappeared for a minute. And Taylor come, a little $5 bill or whatever. And it's kind of like clothes, but it's kind of like stuffy where you can't really like, you know, whatever. So I didn't, I had no idea what's going on. Taylor got $5. So Taylor just kind of walk off or whatever. And I'm still not asking questions. I'm just observing. Taylor walks like across the street on this side. Like on Yo, it's Reno. And he had just dropped a $5 bill on the ground. So I'm looking like, oh, damn, look at Taylor just making people's day. Just Give somebody's going to walk out of the academic center today, just find $5, go grab him a $5 subway and, you know, whatever. So we sitting down, Taylor's come back giggling and shit, laughing and stuff. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not really figuring out what's going on. And I want to say, I can't remember if it was the first one or like maybe the seventh one that came down after we didn't did it so many times. Somebody came down, picked it up, and I remember this one specifically because it was an old couple. Taylor, you probably don't even remember this. No, I think I it did remember this. Old ass couple, bro. I mean, <laughs> old as shit, bro. And they see the money, might be like a ten dollar bill on the ground. They just walk in. He pick it up, and as soon as he grabbed it, he just kind of like got stuck there for a minute, and he just let the money go, and it's shit all on. <laughs> Oh my God, bro! You were that kind of dude. Two dollar, dude. Two dollar. You did talk about it. You talked about two dollar before. It was the best. You put a five out there, and no one's saying no to a five on the the sidewalk, bro. So you go set up poop dollar. So you go, you take the you take the money that you would earn. Not be given. Mm-hmm. You go take a, you go take a <laughs> shit. You go take a shit in the toilet, and you take a knife, and you take a knife, and you kind of scoop out some of the poop, and you smear it on like butter, and then you <laughs> fold it gently, walk it over like a little purse, and then lay it down, poop down. Poop and then down. we would. The hockey boys lived right next to us, so the hockey boys and us would get all like would just kind of pack up a bunch of thirty racks. Hang out and just kind of pry <laughs> under our little porches, waiting for somebody to pick it up. Once they pick it up, oh, you picked up the shit! <laughs> we fucking got you. <laughs> Guys are giving the bird as they're all headed off, whatever. And then it all, uh, the game would always end the same way. Homeless guy walks by, sees the shit, wipes it on the ground, <laughs> pockets that five dollars, dude. Pocket that five dollars out of there. It was wild. <laughs> they gotta go find five more dollars. Because uh, a one dollar bill is not as enticing. Yeah, not you know right, what I'm right. saying? You see that five, even a ten? Holy shit, if you had a twenty? Yo, yeah, that is hilarious. Isn't <laughs> so that wild? Up. Bro, it's it was, not that fucked up. Hey, well, I mean, it's, it's, hilarious, it's hilarious, but it's, it's a yeah. little, you know. I mean, shit, you know, on a, on a dollar bill. <laughs> Hilarious yeah. prank. The worst it's thing awesome. is like you get so pissed and then you look over and you see it's like twelve Dying. people of like six, seven, six, six. There's yeah. nothing you yeah, can do, about nothing it. You can do, bro. You just gotta keep moving. What are you gonna do? You see these two guys on the porch and they laughing at you. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like fuck all these dudes in here laughing at me touching this poop dollar. <laughs> fuck you guys, man. Just keep walking. Yeah, keep walking. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Dude, that's so much fun. Oh, man. Um, so, a, for, oh, go ahead. You got something? I got a story for you, about you. Oh. I remember one time we went to this frat house, and you we took the fire shoe, and we went in there and just fucked. Oh, and there the the rooms. Whole, the whole, yeah, the whole upstairs. Yeah. You we took went, a what? We went to this frat, oh. and... Um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we would just... We would go to, we would go to frats. Because in our head, it was like, these are all the rich kids mm-hmm. that got everything. We didn't have anything. <laughs> and we were mad about it. So we would go, <laughs> we would go to the frat and we'd, t- God, we'd take out their fire extinguisher and we'd walk upstairs when no one was looking and we'd open their rooms. Like, someone would be locked, someone would be locked. But the ones that weren't locked, we'd open the door and then take the fire extinguisher and cover their entire room and go to the next room. 
Just cuz. <laughs> <laughs> just cuz, man. I hope a young Terry Lawan gets in your house one day. Oh, dude. No, no. <laughs> just no. gets I in his house. These motherfuckers was, got everything. And I know people are listening to this probably thinking, like, man, Terry was a really fucking bad kid. I was, everything was in the name of fun. Was Everything was in the name fun. of fun. Now, those fun. frat kids that had to deal with a frothy room, like, that's my apologies. <laughs> those of you who picked up the poop dollar should have kept it. That's currency. That's on you. <laughs> that's not being yeah. financially responsible. Um, yeah, the pig thing, that's a tough deal, too. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what did y'all, first of all, where did y'all get that pig from? And whose idea was it? It was me and Michael Schofield. And, uh, Schofield my, came up with this? Yeah, Scott, well, so we were talking Schofield, about... Honestly, it was another that. guy we keep in contact with. Schofield's yeah, a, Schofield's awesome. He's Schofield won a uh, Super Bowl with the Broncos. Mm-hmm. Right okay. tackle. Um, so Schofield, I was roommates with him in that White House I showed you that I lived in my senior year. Mm-hmm. He's dating this girl, and uh, we're talking about owning a pig. And the girl's like, y'all aren't ever going to own a pig, ever. And we're like, done. That's enough. Go on <laughs> Craigslist. Craigslist, $250 for a pig. <laughs> Game set match. That's easy. You're the pig off Craigslist? Craigslist, dude. <laughs> so we pull up. Like, the dude's, like, in wherever Michigan. The hand, everyone shows you where they're from. Mm-hmm. And it's like, he's here, we're here. It's an hour both ways. We'll meet in the middle at this random-ass gas station. Something out of a horror movie. <laughs> we get there late at night. It's, like, 8 p.m. He pulls up in, like, a, a Chevy Suburban. And opens it up, and his kids come start piling out, and we're like, he's like telling us what the pig, hey, you got to feed it. If you take it outside, you got to put sunscreen on it because it burns easy, you know. Like it's, <laughs> you know, hey, here's some him. SPF 50. Yeah, for the no, pig. for real. And uh, the little girl, one of the little girls, is like he bites, and the dad's like, get the fuck back with the pig. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and in my head, I'm not even seeing the red flags with this pig. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, we got this pig now. This is the dopest shit ever. And so we get the pig, we bring it, and then. I come to find out that pigs don't pigs little tiny hooves don't do well on tile. They do better on on carpet. And in the house all we had was like this small little maybe the size of us in a square yeah. carpet. So the pig decides that that is now his territory and no one else is allowed to live in that go <laughs> in that area. And the only way to get from the front door to the kitchen was through the carpet. And this pig every morning would burrow <laughs> bug, burrow into this blanket. <laughs> And in the morning, you'd be, like, creeping down the stairs slowly, dude. And all of a sudden, like, one creak of the stairs. And you just hear, <laughs> his little nose would come out. Then it'd be, like, me, Eric Gunderson, Mike mm-hmm. Schofield. And uh, the pig would be looking at us. Like, we'd move left, he'd move left, we'd move right, he'd move right. And then you'd, like, push Gundy and run to the kitchen. And we'll realize, like, this is too much. This pig is mean and nasty. <laughs> so one day I get, like, a pillow. You always get these pet stories, and I get a pig and, a, and a, uh, a pillow and a broom, and I'm, like, ushering this pig out to the, the front deck. And every day I'm, like, wrestling the pig and, like, holding it down, like, rubbing SPF 50 on it. Because I don't want him to burn. <laughs> and, um, See, he was great. Yeah, great I was guy. great to this thing. Yes. And then one day I'm, like, coming out, and I'm, I'm feeding the, the pig carrots. And these girls walk up, like, what are you doing? I was, like, kind of, like, rattled. I was, like, um, have this pig and... I just give it carrots sometimes. Like, I don't, I don't know what to say. And they're like, uh, oh, all right. That's kind of cool. And I'm like, yeah, you want to you wanna see me the carrot? And uh, they're like, where's you the want to see me the carrot? Yeah. And I like kind of toss the, toss the carrot out a little bit. And the pig eats it. Like, does he live out here? And I'm like, yeah. And like, can we take a picture of the pig? I was like, yeah, for sure. Well, they take a picture of the pig. Like the next day, I'm like sitting in my living room. And I get a knock at the door. And in my head, I'm like, they, someone can't be there. The pig's going to get them. And I open, I open the door, and it's one of, like, the, I don't know, the people that take away animals. What are they? Uh, yeah. uh, no, it ain't PETA. It ain't the, the, the J.J. Gargantuan of taking away animals. It's like the, the Humane Society comes up and they're like, hey, we got a, an, animal, pound, an, animal, yeah, the, the an animal abuse pound. thing. Uh-huh. And I'm like, oh, shit, about what? And they're like, oh, a pig. Do you have a pig? <laughs> and I'm like, as it's happening, I hear, <laughs> <laughs> this fucking pig comes out. But I'm like, you should get in the house right now. You should, come right now. You should just get in the house before it gets you. The thing starts like coming at him. So I'm like, I get him in. Save his damn life. <laughs> and I close the door and the dude's like, uh, is this, do, you, do, you, do you abuse this pig? I'm like, no, I feed him carrots. I put SPF 50 on him. I'm like, this is my homie. We're just having a bit of a mutual difference right now that we have to work through. Yeah. And he's like, is, is, this, is this the picture of the pig? And it's the, it's the pig. The shoes in, and you can see my shoes in the picture. I'm still wearing the same shoes right there, the red vans. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's the pig. And he took them. And now, and I have no idea what happened to Dr. Hamlet III. Jesus. Social services got him, man. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Took away my boy. <laughs> I hated that pig, though, dude. I got to be honest with you. How long did y'all have him? Four weeks. How big was he? 25 pounds. Jesus Christ. I've never yeah. seen this pig, dude. Yeah, you were gone after that because you didn't redshirt. So it was like my senior, senior year. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. It makes sense. It's a crazy little deal. Man, oh. when Taylor first came in, I did not know he was going to be that fucking left tackle. Like, like he, he like when he first came in, he was skinny as hell. 
Looking like a great day. Like, dude. really? Was, <laughs> yeah. 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 But the thing is, the thing, the thing about him, I, I, I give, I give him credit because he was, he was, he still had that like, I'm a fucking bully. I, I bully guys too, and I remember uh, you going against Brandon Graham. Yeah, and I think you got on Brandon Graham nerves a little bit. Yeah, because <laughs> we was on scout team. Yeah, Man, you yeah. was on scout team, and uh, Brandon Graham was a 13th overall pick. Oh, he's, he's a, a, yeah, he's a, a monster. His motors <laughs> at his world. He weighed more than me my freshman year. Yes, I'm blocking him. Yes, and I think you said something to him. And that whole practice, man, that motherfucker was coming after me the whole practice. <laughs> he <laughs> my ass up all day, dude. Uh, he, he goes hard, man. He's nasty. But, he goes hard. But I, he I, talks a lot. Because he's not then, long, you know what I mean? Yeah, but he talks a lot, but when he gets tired, he gets quiet. <laughs> That's yeah. That's yeah. Like, yeah. In the league, he gets a little tired, he gets a little quiet. I'm like, oh, BG, where you at now? He's like, oh, I'll get you, man. I'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of a game or something like that is hilarious, yeah. dude. But you, um, you, you showed that day one, though. Like, you had that dog in you. Like, nobody, you can't coach that. It's called it. Well, we just, like, it was kind of like we're all kind of there trying to like posture, like figure out who's going to be the dudes around here. Right. Like you go into the class, you're all boys with everybody, but at the yeah. same time, like you want to be the top guy. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I knew Denard was like, I mean, halfway into the first practice, I was like, that's the guy I got to hang out with. That's the guy <laughs> I got to be around. Because he's he going to be a stud. Juice. Oh, he had the juice, and he was a real deal leader too. Yeah. But I wasn't a good leader. I just got to fucked around. You know what I'm saying? I was, yeah. man. You got your role. You know, I had my role, but yeah. I, I was trying to fit a whole different role by the end of it, by the end of it all, man. Are we running, hey Dave, we running a little low on time here? No, I just wonder if you guys had an hour episode going here with you. I know, we're taking a little It's fun listening to him tell stories. Come on, Dave, let us rock out, Dave. We got people that want to meet Taylor. What's up, dude? I'm Taylor. What's your name? Are you ready to commit? We want to first commit on the bus. Yeah, you want to commit right now? First commit on bus. He goes, what? No, don't give. Don't put him in a bad spot. I'll do it. We'll be done in 10 minutes, and I want to meet you. We're going to hang. Is this your family? I'm his Mom and dad, hi, I'm Taylor. Nice to meet you. I got you. Um, well, okay. Or one thing before we like finish this thing up, I wanted to talk about um, your game against Nebraska that you had that nerve damage, because that's kind of when it all yeah. was yeah. towards the end, right? Yeah, definitely. That's definitely. when the quarterback career was out the window. Over. We earned our black shirts that game. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because you had because Russell Bellamy had like yeah, a QBR rating. It, is what, it six. is what it is. We won. <laughs> however bad we won. It was his first game ever playing. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm I saying? Love Russell. Russell's my boy. I love, I love Russell. I love, I love Russell, Russell, but that was a tough game. Yeah, that was a tough. We one ran to on third and eighteen. Tough game to come in on too. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? It like, wasn't a blowout. I don't even know if the whole game was a blowout anyway. Y'all, y'all, not, y'all didn't blow us up though. No, I think, I think it was like twenty eight to thirteen, maybe. Yeah, it was a good game. Y'all got lucky. I, y'all got lucky. I got hurt. Got, oh, we got lucky. Yeah, yeah, you got hurt. Was, what happened the last time we played? That was yeah. the year before. The, the year, year before. What happened the year before? We, we got dunked. It's right over that there. We came back right, right over there. 42 we bounced to back. <laughs> like, and what did I do that game? Which game? <laughs> The year before. No, yeah, you murdered us. I'm, I'm not saying, yeah, hey, y'all whooped us. For real? I'm not saying you got lucky that game. Like, y'all whooped us that game. It, it, yeah, but you guys, like, I stopped. I, I didn't play the rest of the game. It was in the third quarter. That right. was the third quarter? And the game was tight. No, it wasn't that tight. It was like 17, 13 or something like that. We we never, they never scored after I got out of the game. Us, us, us earning our black shirt mean we played insane defense. Like the quarterback draw wasn't working that game. What? Mm. Check the game. Hey, that Jesus game. I might have to pull that film. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we, we got the film here. Film. We just pull that up. But, but, hey, but, I love the banter right now. By the way, yeah, yeah. love it. Dude. But my thing is, my thing was this though. We 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 had a couple plays that game that didn't go our way because like Roy called a deep th- deep deep ball and they called incomplete. But that was right before. That was right before. Uh, right before. The, yeah, just like it, this last game against Nebraska this past year, the the ball should have been blown dead before they ripped it out and took it out. Oh, stop! Stop! I'm just saying stop. we don't make excuses. No, like, excuse, we, I, 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 I didn't play the rest of the game. So, so for third quarter, you have to run by the guy that. Well, so if he was which, healthy, y'all would have won. Him. Oh, we're winning that game. Oh, Jesus. we're winning that game. Well, what score, man, Will? The Same game. score? No, no, no. Maybe. I mean. They still had to play defense. They still gave up 20-some points. Yeah, our defense wasn't great. Our uh, defense, no. We never had a good defense. Never had it? a good defense. At, at all. We were, we were clicking that game defensively, oh, bro. come on, stop, And y'all man. were at Nebraska. We was at Michigan the year before. Y'all won. That was our first. It was walk, We walked y'all into the Big Ten for real, huh? Yeah. Y'all had, because uh, we chirp each other back and forth because Taylor had a, like a block on me, which we we have fun you with. You pancaked him, dude? No, it no, was, it was, it was like the fourth quarter. The, the game's the game. obviously over. We run a power, and I block him to the sidelines. And Will <laughs> swung on and me. And Taylor, like, the tackle's being made, and Taylor's still, like, going extra hard, like, you know, showing that he's still, <laughs> still hey, finished. So the time. scouts trying to get that first yeah, round pick. Yeah, for sure. But that game, y'all had, like, two yards rushing. Two yards total. Rushing? Yes, Hell bro. No. Stop. Stop. We gotta you got to pull that shit up. Pull it up. You don't got to pull it up. We got boys that can pull it up. Um, um, just, we're you know me. I'm ready to get on this phone. I'm ready to get on this phone and get that. Hey, 
Yeah, Michigan versus Nebraska, 2012. It was at Nebraska. No, no, hey, get this. Look up, look up Denard's oh, rushing and passing yards. Before you You're guys, not going to like it, Denard. I'm just letting you know. Before you say those numbers, we got sacked so many times that goes against our rushing total. Yes. He got sacked so many yes. times. Yes. He got, Russell got sacked like nine times. That game, yeah. Uh, okay, I got you. Block. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Denard had 46 rushing yards. What are you talking about? In the third quarter? That's more than two. That's one of two yards. You just said we had two yeah, yards. Yeah, no, 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 no. I feel you. Two yards. He said Denard. Denard had 46 yards myself. If, 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 if you got lucky, you would have been, been over 100 so far. Hey, can we run that part back where you said we had two yards total before we had 46 yards? That's crazy. What was it? You said we had two yards before Denard had 46. I had 46 myself. And I probably had nine carries probably. Dang, nine carries, 42? How, how many yards I That's had? That's how you are in You played three quarters, bro. He, he's a quarterback. He throws the ball, he too. Had, he had 10 carries, 46 yards. That's 4.6 yards a carry. Yeah, but you're Denard Robinson. <laughs> you're electric. You're, 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 you're over, like, 10 yards. Like, you were running a QB Y'all had Martinez. He, he's electric. Yeah, we won. First of all, how many years did Martinez do? Uh, 17. Every year they have Martinez do. Every <laughs> year they have Martinez on the fucking squad. Uh, let's look at uh, on a box score in the third quarter. Will's <laughs> tackles. I think I only had five. Oh, actually, game. no. Not Will was much. electric that game because we put that up on YouTube one day at the uh, uh, at the, the Arnold's, Arnold's house. Yeah. And they were just highlighting Will. <laughs> Leader, la, 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 la. he's this Leader. guy, that guy. Uh-oh. Hey, Will was that dude? Hey, I'll tell you what, though. Yeah. Will had the crowd pretty pumped at the Nebraska game this year when he came back. Electric, oh, you right? Had going it, was like, it, was during, uh, it was the weirdest vibe, too, because you guys were on the goal line and kept, like, basically scoring, but there, there was a challenge flag. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They didn't score, I guess. What do you got, Garrett? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, hey, that, that, that uh, environment was hype. Yeah, it was. It was. His, I give it to his, you. His, his facts are already gone already. It's out the window. He said two yards rush. I have 46 myself. Hang on, though. Hey, Hang my, on man, though. my man was a All American running back. Listen, his sophomore I year know, playing quarterback. I know what presence I'm sitting in right now. I'm just saying we earned our black shirts that game, and we would have still won the game had you not gotten injured. No, I don't you, believe that. No, I don't think so. Oh, Dude, I was, he was a king of the fourth quarter comeback. Notre Dame, Notre 2011. We had seven fourth quarter comebacks. Was it Larry? Seven. Was, we, we, seven. Twice. Twice. Seven. <laughs> In that year. 2011, I'm gonna bring this up. 2011, we, we Indiana, we had uh, Notre Dame. We, we always came back. It, it, it was never a game that we was out of. Yeah. If it was, oh, a, it. no, you, there's never a game y'all weren't out of. We had seven fourth quarter comebacks my senior year. That year that we're talking but you, about. But you guys was not gonna beat us that what year. What bowl game did y'all go to that year, Will? Uh, Capital One. But we, we lost. Yeah, we were unfortunately. In outback. outback. No, we were, yeah, we went to Outback. Yeah, we played Outback. That's what clowning. Comparable, that's a clowning thing. No, cause, no, because Devin was the quarterback. Yeah. That's, that's, my fault. Hey, hurt. hey, my fault. 23 no. to 9. That was the score? 23 to 9 was the score. I'll score, right? And you had six carries for 55 yards. Oh. That's oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. My ball, my, 10 carries, 46. You were 6 for 11 for 55 yards. Zero TDs, zero uh, interceptions. You yeah, have your five yards of pass. He had yeah. nerve damage, Will. What was the score in the third quarter? He had nerve damage. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh, this is crazy, crazy, bro. Game cast. Let me hit this game cast real quick. Don't worry, boys. Hey, uh, while Will's doing that, you remember like we'd be in the middle of games? We were running zone read. Uh-huh. And I'd be like, hey, this guy, this guy, I can take him anytime you want. And you'd be like, all right, just take him. I'll run it. I'll just run it this time. Yes, that's we the time. Yeah, all the, the time. Scoring, yeah, the total score was. Uh, what was it? What was it? Tell me, it was, was it, sixteen. It was sixteen to nine in the third, and we only scored one touchdown in the fourth. So think about this. It's sixteen nine. Four points. I'm thinking about seven it, points. What the fuck points. am I talking about? I, I, I'm seven thinking points. about it. Holy shit. That's too many. That's too many hits. Hey, 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 don't worry about it, bro. Don't. Yeah. So, four we was, so we was only down by seven. That's what you're telling me. My fault. Hey, the two-yard thing was you, you guys averaged two yards a rush. Yes, because Bellamy got tackled a bunch and Fitz didn't run for very much at all. Yes. I'm just letting y'all. But I, think it about is it. what so, it is, so, man. Y'all had 188 total yards. offense. I understand. But Denar Robinson's usually got 188 in a first half. I'm just saying, Jesus. you guys have 188. How many times you have 188 total? in the first half? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how many times I had that. that yeah, that's all. That's, that's a that's fucking. Rare. That's Derrick Henry numbers. Yes. And y'all had the ball <laughs> over us, huh? And y'all had the ball for more time possession than us. Yeah, because 
I'm and, just letting you know we still win that game. Oh, okay, okay I look at Russell, Russell Bellamy stats. I guess he, he, was, <laughs> and he, he had three to, He had three interceptions. Killing his own man. I know. He had his own man. That's all right. Look at his stats out there. Zero touch, three interceptions. He had three interceptions. I love you. He had three interceptions. I guess all I'm saying is you said. Wait, wait, because I just showed you. If I was in the game, you think I'm throwing three. Russ, I love you, Russ. Hey, I love you. You think I'm throwing three interceptions? No, I'm not I saying would, that. I would have a touchdown. I, I would you throw put words one in my mouth. One? <laughs> I'm not saying that. You said y'all got lucky that I got hurt. I'm saying we would have still beat you. No. We were already winning. 16 to, ni- 16 to 9. We Seven were holding points. you already. Bro, we were holding you. Oh, Jesus Christ. You had 100 total yards of offense that game before this, you got hurt. In the third quarter. Oh, oh, and Denard Robinson has over 200 okay, at that point. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Derrick Henry. Everybody think they're holding Derrick Henry until the fourth quarter happens. Yeah. We were fourth hey, quarter. Hey, we were fourth quarter team, too. <laughs> Is that true? We had fourth quarter comebacks in the entire season. We oh came back gosh. seven times. We got 30 seconds left on the clock. Notre Dame game. Let's talk about it. Let's That's go. Notre Dame. Let's talk about Look, it. They're saying that Nebraska and Lincoln. What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> hey, that was the most electric game we've ever had, though. Talk to him, baby. By talk far. to him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Notre yes, Dame sir. game. <laughs> I don't even remember. They scored. They scored. It was like three touchdowns, right? Three touchdowns in a minute 46. It, yes. it was 30 seconds left on the clock. 30. On the 20 yard line. Stephon to it. I said, we're going to go down and score. They left too much time on the clock. Boom. And what we do? Tell them, dude. Scored. I've watched, I watched <laughs> college football just like. I watched college football. So, so just that's, like y'all. So that's, that's what I'm trying Roy to tell Roundtree. you. Roy Roundtree. Uh, <laughs> south side end zone. Roy Roundtree. Hey, give me the ball. Let's go get it. Let's rock hey, out. Can I say Boom. something that's like. Completely gonna mess this whole vibe up. Go ahead. Let's do it. Let's do it. Tree, my dog, I love you. Uh oh. He dropped that ball. What are you saying? Tree dropped that ball. That catch? In the end. Tree, know it, Tree. Tap in. <laughs> Tap in, Tree. Tree, I hate to do it to you. So you're what? saying the whole the, the Michigan Tree's comeback against Notre Dame. The Notre Dame. It should have never happened. I mean, it's that was my freshman it. year. I was one of the best nights of my life downtown Ann Arbor, so oh it should have happened. Gosh, it rocked out. But the like, yeah, coach was rocking that night. That's but. What? Not if we go we back, all I know you guys against Notre Dame. That's always a, it's always if like we can bring game. up the small film on this before we show it. Pull yeah. up tree and he catches it and hits the ground and the ball is like not even in his hands. <laughs> the ball is rolling. <laughs> but his, but his, but it is the fist. It was a pass and <laughs> first call, so we still had 15 yards and then we had another play. Fair, so we had fair, a play. Fair. So we, so we won the game. I made Tree sit down and watch <laughs> film and admit that he dropped that ball. No Jesus shit. Yes, Chris, I did. And he actually admitted it? Yeah, he had to. That's not like Tree. That's not like Tree. I don't think Roy, 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 you didn't admit that, did tree. you? Bad Money did it. Oh, Jesus Christ. But we won. He, mean, what Tree would say is, he said, back then that was a catch. If it was today, it would have been incomplete. That was his, that's what he said. I don't know. I don't know how the college rules have changed. Y'all got, st- I don't y'all think got they the memories, though, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we got the memories. You guys got the They went home. Manti Teo? He called his girlfriend on the way home. So was <laughs> He's like, babe, hey, this happened. Oh, oh, tell me about it, man. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Tell me about Damn, it, man. Damn, I ain't that for no reason. So I was going to start with a stunt. Hey! Perry! The legend, the owner of is the that, Brown that Jug. Him? The yes. Brown Jug. That's the legend. Hey, remember the stories I was telling you about the Brown Jug? Yeah. That's the man right there. Yeah. Let's go. That is the we man. We just created our first trophy. You did? You heard about it? The bus. Bus trophy. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. Perry, he deserves you a lot. You gotta pay your respects. Pay your respects. Pay your dues, baby. Yeah. yeah. What's that? Chris, you gotta go. Chris. All right, let's do it real, real quick. The Dukes segment, hey, right? No, Duke Cannon. Duke. Duke. Uh, 25 minutes ago. Oh. Man, yeah, good. Duke Cannon. Hey, that's wild, dude. Appreciate you, though. You can take all the Hey, appreciate you, Bring him over here. Just don't right here. Who is it? Is it Recruit? Oh, bring him over. What? Oh, okay. New kid? Is this kid also want to meet me? This other kid? Hey, I just want you to know too, y'all. You averaged three point four yards per pass that game as well. What a nerve damage! <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> two Duke yards. Can- two Hold yards on, on, we have to end this. We have to end three yards. Duke Cannon, twenty twelve. That's twenty years ago. <laughs> Huh? That's 10 years ago. 10. 10. 10. 10. This is Jesus Christ. This is We're tough out here. We're tough out here in the South. We struggle. Hey, yeah, we struggle. Barstool, what are we doing? That's tough. That's a tough deal. <laughs> Barstool. <laughs> Sorry, hit your head to Duke Cannon. I don't even have a question. I don't even have a question. Hey, shout out Duke Cannon. Locker room story. Locker room segment. Duke Cannon, baby. Shout out to you guys. Yeah, all right. Actually, we'll do the, we'll do the peeking. Yeah. Before right. you go. Are you, are you doing yeah, Duke, right on some Duke the Cannon? The Duke Cannon segment. Okay, this is the official scent of Bustin' with the Boys. Okay. Okay. It's outstanding. It comes in a very cool box. And I'm not bullshitting. Give that a little smell. In that. Put your finger smell in that. Yeah, put, put your, your finger, finger in it. You put your it. finger in this, and he'll smell that. Yeah. 
Put your finger in this. <laughs> yeah, rub that, give rub that, on the neck. Well, give me a little more lead on before you tell me put my yeah. finger in. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me how it smells and let me know if you trust me or not. Yeah. That's fire, right? Good. Exactly, bro. What, 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 what do you do with cologne. it? It's a cologne. It's a cologne. It's a cologne. It's a cologne. It's a rub on cologne. You put what? it on your finger and you put it on your it? neck. You Duke can Hey, we're going to need you guys to send a whole box of this stuff. Duke so don't even worry about it. Just take it in, bro. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Hey, it smells good, right? Yeah, it does. Just just a different lead up, Will. Yeah, I just got the box two days ago. Okay. And yes, I'm in it all day. I told Taylor, I go, He FaceTimed me in the shower. Yeah, I called him. I said, I'm not shitting you. This is going to be my official scent from here on out. So y'all do peek. In the shower. So here's the deal. That's our question. <laughs> when, hey, when you were in the league or in college, you never peaked? Uh, the, uh, come on. Like, it's, like yeah, it, it happens. Like, you it see, happens. You, you, like, Blake like, Corm, your running back, acts like he's never seen one in his life. He's <laughs> lying. Like, he's like, <laughs> he's already you, too short, bro. He's out of fucking things. Think about, think about him being next to you. He's, he's short. But, but yeah. like I said, <laughs> like, yeah. think about it. You're just sitting, in the, you're sitting, on, you're sitting down in the locker. You gonna see it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. especially as a freshman when like Taylor and them played, because they made the freshman shower in one corner mm -hmm. with like two showers. It was That's like crazy. Oh, the truth comes out. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't no, even know I did that. It wasn't just you know, it wasn't just, I mean, yeah, yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. just Taylor though. Like, it, 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 was, was, it was it was it was tradition. It was tradition. Yeah. So yeah. you had some people that you know would make sure that the tradition stayed in line, like yes. Taylor. Yeah. You know. Did you either? You guys ever get like initiated? Not like initiated, but like that fun little banter. All us. Like I'm pretty sure everybody. Yeah, Denar got, well, got thrown in the, like, the pond. And the, oh yeah, the pond that uh, one time. Yeah. He got thrown in um, the they, dirty laundry hamper. Yeah. Oh yeah, they would tape you up, put you in the showers. Yeah, yeah. They, they, oh, back when taping was yeah, yeah. T taping was around when I was. Oh, in high that was school. a bit of a deal now. I know yeah. you guys taped in college. Oh yeah, we taped. Yeah. Yes. They we, make the freshman we, run and jump in the pond and get dirty with this like quicksand yes, shit and yes, sing. Yes. It would yeah. be the last workout of the summer. Yes. Before we go on summer break. And so like they 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 did me dirty. I didn't know what we was doing. So with all, all the seniors like stood around me because they knew they couldn't catch me. I didn't know why they were standing around me. So I was like, we walk into the we walk into the golf golf course or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, what's up? They're like, yeah, what's good, man? I'm just looking. I'm like, how the fuck are all y'all around me right now? Like, yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on? And so they was like, yeah, you getting in the pond today? I was like, ha. So I just laughed. I gave him one of the chuckles. Like, you can't catch me. Yeah. And I took off. <laughs> <laughs> So it was like they was chasing me all day. I was like, no, nah, I'm not. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just, I'll just do it. Just go it, in there. It, because if I didn't, they, they, was, they was gonna try to catch me in the yeah. locker room. So I was like, I'm not. Right. Go ahead, it's let's better do just sport. do it yourself. Let's do bro. it. A good sport. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. it Some guys wouldn't do it though. You have to throw them in yourself. Yes. Yeah. I yes. just caught yes. myself smelling my finger on accident. That just smells it, good. Yeah, right? Good. I, I do can. <laughs> I do can. Glad guys What's it like? Are you with recruiting? Like, what do you guys both do with Michigan? I'm director of player development. So director of player development? Assistant director of player of personnel. What is it like coming back to your alma mater and being like, you know, you guys have a direct impact now on the culture of Michigan where you guys played? It's, it's dope. I mean, I think when you're a player, you don't never really, when you play here, you never really think about that one day I'm going to be walking, you know, the halls upstairs. Like, when you're a player, you don't even think about all the other roles that's, uh, that goes on to the, uh, to the team. But You joke on those dudes. Yeah. You, like, joke on the... Not saying that they joke on you, but I'm saying, like, Maybe when you're a player... They might, they yeah, might, when, you're, when you're a player, you, like, joke on the dudes probably who are, like, running the you team. Played. What's up? I'm saying, he's saying they joke on us. It's probably not y'all because you guys played. Nah, it's the part. It's the, like, like, you got to do stuff that you didn't do as a player. You know what I'm right. saying? So, yeah. right. so you, you host it. You got you to gotta make sure that everybody's happy, the family's mm -hmm. happy. And uh, you got to really show them that what University of Michigan is about. Like... It's really no university really better than the University of Michigan. I'm being honest, honestly saying this, like, from the alumni, from the school, from the big house, from all the sports, like, you going, you never gonna get it somewhere else. Like, from the time I was here, the, base, the baseball team made it, made it far. The basketball team made it to the national championship game. You know, like, the softball team was always good. Softball team was always killer. Always good. We won a sugar bowl here. You know what I'm saying? We turned the program around while I was here. Back around. I don't want to say around, but we turned the program back we around. We had one good year. Yeah. We, I'll be honest. We but, had one we good year. But we turned it around. <laughs> we, we were five or seven our, first, our freshman year. Yeah, that was tough. That was yeah, tough. I mean, you guys are very notable. Obviously, you played a big role in that. Yeah. But he was, he was, he was, my mom loved him for just being Oh, yeah. I mean, he's up. a stud. He was a first round pick. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, Denard Robinson, like, yeah. the whole shoes untied thing. <laughs> yeah. Lil Wayne was hot back then. You had all the, the flow going on. <laughs> like, you were, you, I'm just saying you were the man. You yeah, know what I mean? Definitely, de definitely, definitely. But, like, this university basically made me that man because we was on TV every week. Yeah. You know, so ESPN coming in all the time and talking to us. Mm. They want to be around. They want to they talk. I mean, we, we walking through campus. You know what I'm saying? So, like, 
the stuff that University of Michigan brought for me, I was like, man, like I never thought I'd be doing this. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Diff, like you don't never you never heard of Diff Beach. And like I always tell people, like, I'm from Diff Beach, you can make it out anywhere. If you from wherever you're from, you can make it out anywhere. So like I never thought I'd be at University of Michigan ball. I thought I was gonna be at FAU, like I'm playing ball there, you know what I'm saying? But like I got here and, and took off. You know, thanks to my old line and boys. Like, yeah, y'all, like Moke. Yeah. Fucking, Moke was a stud. Uh, Schofield. Yeah. His, favorite, his favorite one, Ricky Barnum. That's my guy. Hey, shout out Ricky Barnum, dude. Uh, he, he was, he was he's my a tra- boxer, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> he was my translator for the uh, for the line. So, like, he's the only one that can understand me and talk yeah. to these guys. So, like, sometimes, like, Vincent used to have to tell guys the plays because they couldn't understand what I was saying. So, like, it's funny that, like, all that stuff happened. And now, look where I'm at right now. Like, mm-hmm. when I first came out, people couldn't understand what I was saying. Like, I, I literally took a class just to learn how to... <laughs> Enunciate. Yeah. Damn, man. And yeah. Quentin Washington? Yes. He, Quentin Washington had, a, like, this one guy we played with, he came in with us also, had a massive stutter, could right. not talk. And then he gave a speech his senior year, uh, accepting his M ring. Mm-hmm. And he, he spoke beautifully. Yes. And what if like, Nebraska not, done for their Like, you well. met him, and he couldn't get a <laughs> sentence out. What'd you say? What if Nebraska done for their Nebraska is Nebraska's dope, man. The way you speak about Michigan is like the same way I feel about Nebraska. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's it's all the things that you talk about, like alumni uh, facilities, all that stuff. You get all the bells and whistles, but the people at Nebraska, I feel like, to me, in my opinion, mm-hmm. is what is just stick there. Like mm-hmm. Taylor was there last week, and it's like, you know, the same way everybody's treated me here. It's a very home environment. Everybody yeah. feels welcome. You know That's what I mean? That's true. If you could Nebraska go back, would you do it again? 100%. No question about no it. No question about every it. Every offer on the table. Every offer on the table. But Did Michigan like, offer you? Play, yeah, Michigan offered. Did you come visit? No, I didn't. I forget who the linebacker coach was at the time. He had the old guy, white hair. I, I can't remember. I can't remember who that the coach was us. at the whole time. Yeah. No. It, that had to be. No. It, well, that was before us. Yeah, but I, I, never came, I never came out to visit. Because if you came to the big house, like literally my, my official visit, we went in the big house. I told the coach, I told Rich Rod, I said, I want to be snowing because I've never seen snow in my life before. So I was like, I want to be snowing. And he, we, we came up, fish visit. We had a snowball fight in the big house. Oh, that's dope, You, you can't man. beat that kind of... Like, yeah. how, like what, what school's going to... And the big house is the big house. I yeah. mean, you've been inside there before. You know how that place is, you know? So, like, there's no bigger, there's no bigger stadium in, 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 this, in, in the United States like the big house. I feel like it gets right. I feel like it gets louder at Nebraska. Yeah, it does. It That's does, fair. but it does. the but the night game, the first night game. Yeah. But you guys, yeah. about, again, like we're we're comparing like I say elite programs. I know we've been struggling over the years past, but as far as like program with the Historical, university, traditional, what, traditional yeah, programs. what people put into the program. Right. Um, like for me, it was more like playing for Bo Pelini's staff and playing for those coaches. Yes. Hindsight, you want to look at a school and you know, be at a school, look at their academics and everything right. else. But I very much, I would still make the same decision because I feel like Coach Bo and those guys, like, I loved my experience at Nebraska. I was a big fan of Bo. He's uh, a I man, like, bro. I, 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 How, how'd you get to know Bo? Was that like the Big Ten uh, media days? Media days. And he, he, he kind of recruited me a little bit. Oh, for real? Yes, Bo's fucking awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. Bo's fucking awesome. And my dad, my dad loved Nebraska. He loved, you know, Nebraska. Because the quarterbacks, you know, they, they used to always run the options. You know what I'm saying? If so, you'd have came to Nebraska, we're probably winning an Addy. <laughs> Come on, not, not. Taylor right, that's Martinez. Enough, <laughs> that's enough, You guys didn't have a talent. Come on now. Yeah, we did. Levante, so Randy Gregory. Kenny Bell. The year with Sue when we when we went Rex to Rex Burkhead. There were I want to say three out of the five years I was there, we were like ten and two going into the championship game. Oh shit. Really? I don't know yeah. that. Yeah. We lost the Big Twelve Championship twice back when Sue almost won the Heisman single handedly. Mm. Didn't really have a quarterback then exactly. Like, hey, I love you, brother. But we we scored like seven points that game. Jesus. Uh Sue had like five sacks. Mm-hmm. Then we played uh Oklahoma the year after that. We stopped running Rex Burkhead. Taylor threw or uh yeah, Taylor threw a couple picks. Mm-hmm. And uh, then the freaking Big Ten championship game, we just got dummied by oh. a goddamn Wisconsin. There's probably, that game. there's probably nothing we would have been able to do there because defensively we were garbage. Mm. Um, but I'm just saying I felt like, you know, you're like a quarterback. I say that weirdly because Taylor was like a Heisman candidate and everything yeah. else. Yeah. Um, but we had good teams, bro. Mm. Definitely. Just that's Levante David was a stud. Like, yeah, the, when, I, I hated playing. He's against still that dude. that dude. I hated playing. Yeah, against that one game against where y'all us. whooped us. Twenty-seven. Yes, that game where y'all ran us what? out of the whole city. Levante had twenty. He was the only one who could hang his hat on something. So right. you, you want me to tell you why, why I played that that way that first time I played against y'all? It was because of Levante David. He played me in high school. Oh, for oh, real? No shit, because yeah. he played at Miami Northwestern. That that's like the prominent Miami school. So so like, <laughs> he beat me. He beat me. He he probably got the the worst football story I could ever tell. 
because we were supposed to go to the state championship, play against Northwestern. They beat us. It was a minute and 30 seconds left. They won. It went 99 yards to win the game. 99? 99 yards to win the game. Damn, oh, my they God. They had a squad, too. They had, like, Sean Spence. So, imagine, imagine uh, what, playing. What was it, Benjamin? So they had they had uh they had Sean Spence, they had Levante David. Travis had, Benjamin, was Travis that his Benjamin. Name? I mean, no, they had they had uh Tommy Streeter, they had Adaris Johnson, they had uh Kendall Tompkins. Kendall Tompkins went to I think he went to the University of Cincinnati. So they had like they had <clears throat> they probably was the the D one college. They was the D one college, legit. They like they whole team was like yeah, they have a documentary on that school. Yes. They whole team that whole team was like going all, all, everybody went to Miami. They had Levante went to. I think he ended up going to like a JUCO first, and then yeah. he went to Nebraska. And then like those dudes already ready. They was they was ready. Like we played them, and literally it's only we only had I only had three D one dudes on my team. Oh damn! And we, we took them to and the white. Like, we should have won, won the game. So like that 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 ate me up. Like that that drove me to be like, okay, I, I'm gonna be the best player. Like so that game we played against, I was like. We playing against a guy that went to Northwestern. I'm, 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 I'm doing You're like playing this. Levante. You're playing Miami Northwestern. I was <laughs> playing Miami Northwestern that game. That's crazy. I had no idea about that story. That is crazy. That is I, I've never too. tell people that story because it, like that, sh- that was a heartbreak because that was the game to go, go to state. Whoever won that game was going to win a state championship. Yeah. And they, they beat us. It was the last game in the Orange Bowl. So like that was like, I was like, fuck. So like, I and when I, I I shook Levante David hand after that game, I was like, yeah, it was, this is this was a Northwestern game. Not, he yeah. probably don't remember that, but I I, I remember saying that to him. I was like, that's a Northwestern game, man. That's yeah. I like, literally literally like, well, I had to beat you just because of that reason. Yeah, yeah, well, y'all y'all did work us that game <laughs> for sure. Yeah, it's been fun, man. Tell, hey. Let me ask you this question. I, I want to ask you this question. Who was the best DN you blocked while you was in college? Um, because we had some guys. Like at Michigan yes, or at Michigan, at Michigan. oh Frank Clark, <laughs> no 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 I'm sorry shout playing out against, Nitty oh playing against yeah yeah, yeah shout out Frank Clark um, yeah. Nitty the best I don't know because my our my retro freshman year was uh, Cameron Hayward, um, your boy Kerrigan oh, Ryan Kerrigan, Kerrigan uh, JJ Watt mm-hmm. oh shit who was the yeah. DN from Michigan State that slapped Taylor. Oh, Ghosting. Like, Ghosting. Ghosting. Will Ghosting. Bro. Yeah. We still got beef with you, man. Yeah, I broke his bitch ass <laughs> off that next year, though. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Hey, yes, you did. hey, Will, no bullshit. Taylor trained the whole summer with a picture uh, yep. of Will Ghosting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and every time, I remember that I game. It was on my screen lock on my phone. I knew his mom's name. I knew yeah, where he lived. He, yes. Did you get a personal penalty to first play the game, Nate? Yeah. Taylor said, I remember Taylor saying that whole week, like, yo, I'm just letting y'all know we starting off like first and whatever. Uh, what was it? First and another. First, 15, yeah, first and He was 25. But, 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 uh, we had, we had came to an agreement. He was like, "I'm gonna I'm gonna jump off sides. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna knock his head off." Yeah, and that's gonna, that's gonna be the, that's gonna set the tone of the game. But he tried to break your head. Uh, he tried. He tried to like rip my neck. He yeah. like tried to break my he neck. He was trying to do some dirty shit when we were, we were there. We and we we didn't win that game by a lot because it was like a defensive game. Mm-hmm. It was like nine like nine to. But six I've never or, seen Taylor so focused on like a person for a whole year straight. So yeah. I focus on different. I'll tell the story after we get off the camera. I'll tell you what I did. But if, yeah. Will Golson, it was like revenge tour. The whole, the whole. Yeah, he was just like the lock screen on my phone. Legit. Right. I, yeah, I, I get that. Yeah, because that was a tough look. He put well the whole week. They're like, because they knew I get a lot of penalties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're like you can't overreact. They're gonna do something. Don't overreact. So the whole time in my head, I'm like, if I if they do anything, I can't overreact. And he fucking punched me, and I was like, first off. Hurt like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that shit hurt so badly in me. Uh, I turned around. I was like, I'm going to fucking kill this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to fucking kill this man. And, and Whatever. They, they showed us up. They beat our ass, too. They I'm beat our ass that they, game. They, they little kid came in. They was, they, they was more aggressive than we was that game. Like, yeah. All the way around. Like, they literally was doing everything nasty. Like, they was taking pillars and didn't give, didn't give two shit. Like, the coach. It seemed like the coach said, okay. D'Antonio? Play. Yeah. It seemed like yeah. he said, like, just go play however you want to yeah. fucking play. Anything after this would just do it. Like we gonna we gonna send. send we never send be, we never won at Michigan State. No, and they were that stadium was loud. Yeah, props to them for sure. Hey, last question I got, Taylor. I always want to ask you, what happened with you and Richard Sherman that time? The- oh, with uh, Marcus? Oh no! Oh, oh that's um your boy. Well, that Richard, Sherman. Richard Josh Norman. Josh, Josh Norman. Norman. My fault. Not Richard Sherman. Oh, Josh, Jano? Yeah. yeah so we were uh, we were in. It was like Christmas. It was like the day before Christmas, and we're playing the Redskins. Now known as the Commanders. Shout out the commies. Shout out the commies. <laughs> Shout out the commies. And um, commies. it's four minute. We're winning the game. And Derek, we run left. Smart move. Oh, that's right. And uh, <laughs> that's right. we run left. Derek gets like four yards, and Josh Homer tackles him and tries to gator roll his leg. Oh damn! So uh, I get I get get in his face. Derek's my fucking dude. I love Derek. 
so much. I get in his face and uh, he starts mouthing off to me or whatever. So after the game, he's like on the sidelines like this, kind of just like real upset. And I'm like, hey, Josh. And he like looks up at me, I go, get the fuck off my field, bro. And he fucking, he's like, what'd you say? And I go to do it again. And he fucking throws the helmet at me. And I put it up one more time and he smacks hey, the shit out of my you hand. You stood 10 toes. If the definition of 10 toes yeah. was in the dictionary, it would be you standing there just continuing to do it. Just ten shooting toes fake down. arrows at Because that was his selling, right? That was just like his go-to move. When you pull out the arrow. Oh, yeah, that's your boy, too. Oh, yeah, bro, so I always stuff. wanted to hear what yeah, happened though. there, bro. I appreciate um, that, man. You see, I, Will says he's a nice guy. Oh, he is a nice, he is a nice dude. He's a nice, he's a nice, he's a nice dude. Like dude. He shared a good chirp with you later, right? Oh, oh yeah, he did. The, uh, the, the peak up. Oh, that's right, after bro. After Taylor had gotten suspended. Because after that happened with the Taylor and the bow and arrow thing, uh-huh. we had a guy who uh, runs a, uh, it's called Hang 10 uh-huh. merchandise. And he sent Josh Norman uh, a shirt that says, Taylor Lewan is my dad. But Josh probably thought like Taylor sent him that thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. So whenever Taylor uh, got suspended, Josh figured, tried to find out, had his assistant reach out and try to figure out, hey, what, what is Taylor Wan's address? Who sent this shirt? Tried to get the address. Ooh. And um, obviously Ryan's like, you know, I didn't say anything and I kind of hung up or whatever. And so Ryan's the guy who owns Hang 10. The guy who's yeah, the shirt. Yeah, he's the guy who owns Hang 10. Yeah, my fault. And uh, so Josh figures out the return address and sends like a... a an empty pee cup in the mail. <laughs> shoots, Bro, it to, shoots it chirp. to Ryan's address. Like, all right, he'll get the message, and I'm sure he'll pass it along. Yeah, that was a, that wow. was a phenomenal wow. chirp back. Wow. Yeah, that was a good chirp back. You know, I wanted to start like a fake beef when I was at Jacksonville and you was playing with uh, Tennessee. I want to start a fake beef with you. Yeah, but there was no way that was going to happen. I, I know. There was no was chance so, of that ever happening. I was so happened. mad that I could have... I wanted to have a fake beef so bad, but I was like, it wasn't going to happen. You probably so. could have if he was on defense. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But, uh, I, like, if you was there, I would probably, I would, I would, I would start it with you. A fake beef? Yes. you're white. Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> he was a linebacker. I was, like, running back. I would have had a fake beef with him. I would, yeah. It's hey. interesting. I mean, I feel like. It would have been a good fake beef. The way we got a little, the way we had a good banter earlier, it would yes. have been a good fake beef. Yes. That would have been fun yes. for you guys. So, do you have a fake beef with somebody in the league right now? I guess Jalen would be my fake beef now. Because I fuck with Jalen. Why would he be your fake beef then? Because we used to really beef. And now. Oh, that's right. I forgot about our, that shit. He's our boy now. Like he hit me up the other day to go to a, the like the premiere of Batman. He had like a private screening. I, know, I can't for believe it. you didn't go. I uh, know. I, I had to put go? the kid. I had to put the kids to sleep. Why didn't you bring the kids? Because my kids aren't going to go see Batman when they're four, Denard. Four years old, you're doing Batman. No, 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 no. At my daughter gets scared of trolls, dude. I'm not putting her to see Batman. <laughs> <laughs> scary ass voice. The Joker running out of nowhere. <laughs> Why you want to kill me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, shout out to you. We heard you got baby on the way coming in, yeah, in man. days Congrats, away, man. Yeah, days away, bro. Congrats. Are you, are Congrats. you like ready right now, man? I don't think so, but you got to, you got I don't to, feel like it's one of those things you're prepared for until yeah, you got to go through it. You know what I mean? That's you're right. You're right it's gonna be nice to be in it, homie. So, what kind of car are you driving with the with the, with the Chevy baby Silverado? Okay. No question. No question. No, it's the most driveable vehicle. If you're gonna have a baby in the back of your car, Top. you need to, it has to be a Chevy. Yeah, it's the only way to get it done. Reliable. Okay. The most advanced dependable vehicle on the market. And the multiflex tailgate they have now. Oh, it's crazy. Unbelievable. It goes nuts, man. Six configurations. We won't get into that, but just look into it. Okay. I heard about it. We'll do. I heard about it. Hey, appreciate you guys, man. That was awesome. Awesome. Thank <laughs> you.